It's Friday morning, Glads. I'm John Christofferson. And I'm Marissa Trahill, and this is your KWHS News. Thanks for listening all week. Before we jump into announcements, let's head to the cafeteria to find out what Miss Betsy has on the lunch menu today. Happy Friday, everybody. Today we're going to have chicken parmesan sandwiches. Please stop by and enjoy your lunch. Also, tomorrow's a parade. I hope you have a great time. I hope it weather is gorgeous and then on Tuesday we're gonna have the chicken enchilada casseroles which I know you love so come on down we'll see you then bye thanks Miss Betsy students please add money to your account because you cannot charge meals and bring in your free and reduced lunch forms glads yearbooks are on sale for only $55 in the business office prices will go up in December and seniors listen up the first deadline for baby ads and quotes for the yearbook is coming up next week. You must submit your materials to Ms. Kennedy by next Thursday, October 12th. This is a change because we are not in school on the 13th. The last deadline is the following Friday, October 20th. If you want them in the yearbook, don't delay. Get those photos and quotes into the yearbook staff or room 104 as soon as possible. With October already on the calendar, those deadlines are coming fast, and we also have many colleges visiting us this month. Here's the lineup. Next week, on October 10th, two schools are scheduled. Fort Hayes State University will be here during advisory, and Paul Mitchell, the school, will be here at lunch. Hastings College is scheduled to visit on Thursday, October 12th. CSU Pueblo comes in the following week on Tuesday, October 17th, with Pikes Peak Community College visiting on Wednesday, October 18th. October ends with a visit from CU Denver on Tuesday, October 31st. Luther College will kick off November visits on Thursday, November 2nd, and Adams State plans to be here on Thursday, November 16th. Swing by the Counseling Center to pick up your pass. Glad if you missed some of the schools who have already come to us, there's another great opportunity to check out colleges at the College Fair at Mesa Ridge on October 25th. WHS is taking 50 juniors and seniors to this fair, so if you would like to attend, sign up at the Counseling Office by next Thursday, October 12th. You do need a permission slip, and those are due no later than Tuesday, October 17th. Now here's Moose Santos with our Gladiator Sports Update. Good Friday morning, Glads. I'm Moose Santos with the Gladiator Sports Update. It's the last day of Spirit Week. Today is Blue Eyed Day and Rivalry Week. Our Glads are looking good. We'd like to wish the marching band good luck as they travel to Pomona this weekend for their competition. Bring back some hardware band. Our Glads have already had some success beating the Purple School this week, but here are some additional opportunities to cheer on our Glads against the Grizzlies. In softball news, the Lady Glads took on Mesa Ridge yesterday afternoon, but struggled to get the win against the Grizzlies. Up next for the Lady is regionals next Saturday. The boys tennis team started a regional match play yesterday at Cheyenne Mountain High School. The team is strong and should have some great results to move on to state play. The state tournament starts next week on Thursday. In soccer news, the boys played the rivalry game against Mesa last night and mauled the Grizzlies. The boys are back on the field in their match toward league championships against the TCA Titans on Tuesday, October 10th at 4 p.m. The Lady Glads volleyball team took on the TCA Titans Titans last night at 6, but the Titans towered over our glads. The ladies are back in the court on Tuesday against Sierra at Sierra. Cross Country ran at the Penrose Equestrian Center on Thursday and clocked in some excellent times across the teams. Next up for Cross Country is the Colorado Springs Metro League meet next Thursday afternoon. In football news, our glads are working hard to earn another win against the Grizzlies on Saturday afternoon at 1 p.m. Remember, we are the visiting team. Go Glads beat Mesa! And remember that Saturday before the big rivalry game is the Widefield Community Day Parade. The parade starts at 1030 at the Big R parking lot and ends at CA Foster Stadium where there will be vendors and food. Food tickets will be $3 and game tickets will also be $3. Come out and see the best kept secret no more unfold. And finally, Glads, if you need to let off a little steam today, check out the car bash at lunch by the counseling center. For only $1, you can have one minute to beat on a car. How cool is that? Go Glads! Beat Mesa! Good luck to all our sports teams this weekend. That's it for our sports update. Have a great Friday. I'm Moose Santos. Now back to you, John and Marissa. Thanks, Moose. Juniors, on Wednesday, October 11th, during periods 1 through 4, you can take the PSAT test. If you would like to qualify for a National Merit Scholarship, you need to take this test. Sign up and pay the fee no later than today. The cost is $16, and Mrs. Abeda and the Counseling Center will take care of you. 
See the Counseling Center website for more information. Okay, Glads, how many of you didn't get a good night's sleep last night? It's probably your mattress. Lucky for you, the WHS Theater Program is holding its first annual mattress fundraiser. You heard that right, it's a mattress fundraiser. On Saturday, October 21st, the small gym will be filled with mattresses of all sizes, styles, and price ranges for purchase. You can save up to 50% off retail prices. The sale will run from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. If you or someone in your family needs a new mattress, you should come and check it out. All proceeds from this sale benefit the WHS Theater Program. And now here are your club and activities updates for Friday and Tuesday. Power Club meets on occasional Fridays. Please check with Mr. Dania for your next meeting time. Guitar Club members, you will not be meeting today. The forensic team will have a meeting next week on Tuesday, October 10th. See Ms. Owen for more details. Environmental Club meets at lunch in room 204 and picks up recycling every other Thursday during advisory. Link Crew meets on Tuesdays and Thursdays during advisory in rooms 123, 124, or 201. And finally, if you're interested in the Red Cross Club, they meet at lunch on Tuesdays in room 109 with Ms. Shepard. As always, Student Union is open in the library every afternoon from 3 to 4.15. You do need to have a sticker on your ID like this one to stay and play or to work on homework. And just a few more housekeeping notes before we go. Seniors, listen up. If you were not here for the senior class meeting yesterday, please see Mrs. Abeta in the Counseling Center to collect the important information you missed. And finally, GLADS, we have a new group on campus who would like to help solve those small issues you may have with other students before they become bigger issues that will land you in Mr. Shubes or Mr. Clark's offices. It's called Peer Mediators. Here's some information. Hey, Alicia, did you hear what Amber said about us and the cheer routine at the outdoor assembly? Yeah, she was being really rude. She said that we suck. She even said that they should have dropped me on the head. I'm going to go roast her on Snapchat. Hey, guys, I know a roast session can be fun, but there's better ways to handle the situation. Yeah, I heard about peer mediation. Maybe we should go try it. If you have a conflict with a peer and would like to resolve the issue, please contact Ms. Hines or Mr. Munoz. They can then set up the mediation. Students may also have a classroom teacher help set up on Google Drive. Glads. If you have a problem with another student and you'd like to talk about it or just need someone to listen to you work through a resolution, check out the peer mediators. Well, that's all for us today. Have a great Friday. I'm John Christofferson. And I'm Mr. Hill, and this is your KWHS News. Have a great weekend. See you Tuesday. Go Flash, be based up.